guys, welcome to another video. My name is Johan. I post videos about my animals. So if you find that interesting and if you want to see more, consider hitting that subscribe button so you get to see more videos, which is awesome. So in this video, as you can see by the title and thumbnail, I got a new pet and it's a snake and it's a core snake, which you probably could see by the title. And it's a super tiny little guy. I don't know if it actually focuses on him because he's so small. And in this video, I'm gonna show you when I set up his little tank. And this is gonna be a temporary home for him because once my garden snakes move into the terrarium wall, that's gonna be behind me, this guy is probably gonna take over their tank until he grows bigger. And eventually he will have his home behind the camera because I'm gonna build another wall behind the camera, but that is for a way future project. So I'm gonna put this little guy back into his little box and I'm gonna set up the tank. All right, so for substrate, I'm gonna use snake bedding. It's the Aspen shaving. And I like to do a thick layer so these guys can actually burrow down a bit. I think that is perfect. And then I'm gonna put a hide on the hot side where I will have a heat mat under. So this little cave right here will be a hot cave. So it will be on the hot side and the snake will need a humid hide. So I'm just gonna use the one I got for the leopard geckos since the terrariums are not set up yet and I need a humid hide, I'm just gonna use this one. So I'm gonna put this on the hot side so I'll get the heat mat under the humid hide which will make this hide extra humid. And inside the humid hide, I'm gonna put some sphagnum moss because this moss retains the moisture really well. So it's gonna be staying wet in there. I'm gonna do a thick layer. So something like that. And then I'll put this on. And since the hole is from the side, the humidity is gonna raise and it's not gonna be able to leave the cave so that's why it's perfect to have the entrance to the humid hide from the side and not the top because if it's on the top, it's just gonna evaporate up and you will have to moist it down more often than if it was from the side. All right, so the snake is gonna need a water bowl. So I have this one, it looks super dirty, but it's actually not dirty. It's just that it was looking super natural and when I tried to clean it out after it was in with my emperor scorpions, I basically cleaned off how it was supposed to look. So it's actually extra super clean but it looks quite uh, dirty. So I'm gonna put this on that side. I'm gonna fill this up so the snake can come in and bathe in here. Also grab a drink. And what you could do is to have a bigger water bowl so the whole snake can actually soak in it, which he probably can at this stage, but since he has the humid hide, he can still go in and get a place where the humidity is higher and that will obviously help him with the shedding. So now he has two options to get that extra humidity that will help him with the shed. And I also got a bunch of cork bark pieces and this will also be like a hide for him. And it will also give him some opportunity to climb because even though this tank is very short, is that what you call it? Well, it's not tall, it's short. So it, yeah, it should be called short. So since this tank is short, I can't, give, I can't really give him a lot of climbing options. So for now, he's gonna have a bunch of cork bark where he can slither through and up, yeah. That's, much as he can so and this is gonna be a little hide on the cool side and then I'm just gonna put the cork bark pieces in here so you can actually climb around a little bit so as you can see he will actually have a hide here in the middle he will have a hide right here he will have a humid hide he will have a water dish and a hot hide and it's really important for them to have a hot hide so they can actually go in there when they have been eating so they can actually digest the food properly. So, I didn't say that right. Properly, properly. I think I said it there. Anyways, I'm just gonna add some more of the snake bedding on the cool side. Like this. I think that looks better. And that will actually give him like a better cave to go in here. All right, so I think the tank looks amazing. I'm really excited to let him in there. So let's just open this little tank up and move this little guy in there. 
Hey, buddy. I bet he's really stressed now. It was like a 50 minute drive and we had to stop and get some flowers for another pet I'm getting. It's gonna be in the next video. I can see how he's breathing. He's breathing really fast. So I was thinking about trying to feed him today, but I will not feed him today. I will let him settle a bit. And then tomorrow I will try to feed him. And by that time, he should be able to find where the hot side is, where the cool side is, and where the moist side is, and where the water bowl is. And hopefully, he will be more interested in eating. But let's roll some footage of the corn snake exploring the tank. All right, so that is the setup for the corn snake. I am super happy how it turned out. I will obviously make an update on the corn snake and I will also show you when I'm about to rehouse it because this is a temporary enclosure, but as I'm looking at it right now, it will probably do pretty good for a while. So he's gonna be staying in here for a while and tomorrow I'm gonna try to feed him and hopefully he will eat. But yeah, that wraps the video. Let me know what you think about the enclosure in the comments. Like the video if you like the video. <laughs> that makes sense. And I will see you in the next video.